And in today's video, guys, I'm going to show you the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Fortnite in Chapter 4. I'm going to cover all the small secrets, all the visual upgrades you can do in order to really get those bright and vibrant colors, and all these small tricks, especially for less input delays. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, guys. We're on the road to 100k, and now let's get straight into this topic. So, guys, I know we're going to cover the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Fortnite in Chapter 4, and how you can, of course, open it up in the first place is just simply go into a Windows search bar and type in the NVIDIA until you can find it. Then you can see on the top 3D settings this display and video and what we want to focus around guys is manage 3d settings so yeah we're going to click onto it guys and now i'm going to give you the best ones which you can apply for basically any game and i'm going to cover like the most important ones in the first place image scaling is a super useful feature actually if your gpu does support it let's just say that you're playing usually on 1920 x 1080 you can actually go in game into normal hd which is 1280 x 720 and your nvidia gpu is automatically gonna upscale it so it's still gonna look super crispy like normal 1920 x 1080 but you're gonna get a huge fps increase so Therefore, if you utilize this feature or you maybe want to try it out, guys, I would recommend you do a tiny bit above it, maybe just something like 60%, so it looks a little bit better. Then you're going to click onto OK. Personally, I don't utilize it here right now since I use a stretch res, so therefore you got to know for yourself which one is better. Then for ambient occlusion, guys, you're going to keep this on off. Then anti-strophic filtering, you're actually going to put to off as well. Those are basically edges in the distance that they look a little bit sharper. We don't care about it. Basically, what I want to say, any sort of anti-strophic filtering or anti-lizing, you can completely turn off, guys. The only one which you're actually going to leave on is gamma correction because it's lightning and that's super important then background application maximum frame rate is kind of interesting feature because let's just say as an example you have fortnite or something open in the background you can actually limit it to 20 fps so your pc doesn't overheat for nothing that's kind of useful feature so therefore i would maybe turn it on and put it to something like 30 fps cruder gpus you don't really have to care about too much guys unless you have multiple gpus in your pc which could include as well a cpu integrated graphics card so therefore i'm just simply gonna leave it on all dsr factors you're gonna keep on off and here now guys the low latency mode is super important. A ton of Fortnite players are saying that putting this one on Ultra is literally going to give you the least amount of input delay. So therefore, try it out for yourself which one feels naturally better for you on or Ultra and definitely utilize this if your GPU does support it. Maximum frame rate also doesn't make like too much sense. I mean, you could maybe put it a tiny bit above your like maximum refresh rate of your monitor. So again, you can prevent thermal throttling because your PC doesn't have to produce additional FPS for nothing and just overheat. Personally, my cooling is pretty good, so I just simply leave it on off. Then this next feature here, guys, is not really really that important since I do believe most people will run at least like a pretty up-to-date NVIDIA GPU which supports the NVIDIA control panel are probably gonna be like at least above like 60, 70, 80 FPS so therefore you should be chilling just simply leave this on off guys you don't really have to worry about it too much OpenGL GDI compatibility you're gonna leave on auto OpenGL rendering you're gonna leave on auto select as well and power management now guys you're gonna put to prefer maximum performance this is just simply gonna make sure that our GPU is never gonna go in a low power savings mode preferred refresh rate you're gonna put to the highest available of course guys if you're right now utilizing a 240 hz monitor 360 or 144 you want to utilize the maximum of course for your shader cache size guys i would actually put this to 10 gigs if you guys want to get better fps better ping and less input delay here in fortnite then make sure to check out no ping guys which is the number one tool to actually give you all the competitive advantages in any games you guys want to play make sure to activate the low delay mode and all the fps boost modes which are in the software itself and then select your favorite game which you want to play and the server in your near for the least amount of ping with the code right now you're on screen you can even get 20% off and make sure to check out the link in the description. A ton of people are saying that if you put it on 10 gigs and it gets automatically then wiped again after these 10 gigs, you can actually prevent having additional errors or crashes in games because once your shader cache is filled up, it's gonna get fully wiped, so therefore you have a fresh version. Then next up, guys, here for these three ones here from texture filtering, you can just simply put it all to off, guys, or highest performance because quality again only really matters if you care about it. If you're playing maybe like a story game, you could theoretically put it up, guys, and then guys texture filtering trillionaire optimization is kind of helping your textures to preload faster on your pc so therefore you can keep it on on threaded optimization you can leave on auto it doesn't really matter triple buffering you're gonna leave on off a hundred percent guys triple buffering you're gonna leave on off vertical sync is kind of i don't know really only relevant if you're playing right now on like 60 hertz some people say that they have screen tearing if they have like too high fps on a low hertz panel but for most of you since you're probably playing competitive arena whatsoever you're playing probably on something higher than 60 hertz it doesn't really matter if you're on 60 hertz try it out for yourself then virtual reality guys you're gonna leave completely on off and vulcan open gl you're gonna leave on auto since fortnite anyways doesn't take advantage of these features then you're gonna click on to apply guys and we're already done here with this first step so far then the next step guys we're gonna click on to adjust desktop color settings and so many people always ask me how is my game so colorful so bright how does it look so amazing well guys you basically have to go here under display and to adjust color settings and they can already find now digital vibrance this one is usually on 50 percent i put it up all the way to 75 
5, something between like 70-80% really works out the best and makes your colors really like pop out, you know. Then we're also going to click here additionally under video to adjust video color settings and what we're here now going to do is also increase our saturation. As you can see, I have both of them to plus 75% and those really work out the best. This is how my game looks like exactly with those settings. You can see directly right now my monitor while I'm playing. Then we're already done guys and all you got to do is basically close it, restart your PC and you can enjoy having the best NVIDIA control panel settings. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel guys. We're on the road to 100k and don't forget to check out these two videos which are right now on screen since it's super beneficial for your system performance.